Hello everyone! Bugmite back here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And so last time, I visited that, uh, other island over here, the fight area, and even to train in the battle tower there, a little, uh, well, the battle there, competed there, defeating seven trainers in a row. Until I realized I could not progress any further because there were people blocking the roads, both north and east. And as it turns out, I needed to get, uh, complete the National Pokedex as in register every Pokemon here, all 150 here as you can see, which I did do later on, and so now it's all complete. But the reason why I'm in Celestic Town, and as you've realized now, <laughs> is because I wanted to show you how to get Palkia registered here, or in this case, you know, or Dialga if you're playing a Shining Pearl. So anyway... Oh yeah, you know, to, to complete the Pokedex, I basically decided to, you know, go around, I uh, caught the Lake Trio, or at least, you know, released Mesprit, because, you know, that Pokemon flies up as soon as you enter encounter it. And I also got Spirit Tomb by, you know, searching the underground, you know, just talking to 32 unique trainers, and then c catching that on a Route uh, 209. And finally, there's... The Unknown, which I realized, you know, were in ruins of the, uh, on the east side of uh, Salacion Town, which I sh should have showcased you, so I apologize for that. And I uh, just have a bunch of ruins where I ca caught one of these two just to register it. Th there wasn't much else to see, just a windy road, basically one trainer and some items at the end, including the mind plate. But anyway, I'm gonna showcase how I. I, I, should, I think I should at least showcase how I registered Palkia here. So, just gotta talk to uh, the Elder, Cynthia's grandmother. Well, hello! You look well. Maybe you remember her. I met her, you know, when I first came to, uh, here in Celestic Town. I did some research of my own since that spot of trouble last time. Mount Coronet acting up had me very concerned too. Yeah, basically you can just do this anytime after the Spear Pillar incident. You know, with Team Galactic and, you know, catching the my mythical Pokemon on top, whether it be Dialga or Palkia. In my case, it was Dialga. Well, this is what I found in the shrine. A book. It's quite old. See for yourself. And bam, th there we go. So, so now I've got Palkia registered. I mean, I did this already, but I'm sh showcasing it to you now, how it's done. It's the least I could do, you know. <laughs> it reads, Palkia, the Pokemon that binds the spatial dimensions. It seems that there were two Pokemon in ancient Sinnoh. They respectively stood as symbols of time and spatial dimensions. And yep, that's basically it. So now I guess, you know, I have all 150 Pokemon in the Sinnoh decks. Yeah, 150. That's the same number that was, uh, that, that how many Pokemon there were originally. Well, you know, plus Mew. But anyway, so yeah. And I've caught 61 Pokemon, I've seen 150, so yeah, not quite half, but you know, it, it doesn't really matter. I just have to have them registered in this case. I mean, that, I mean that's been more of a thing, you know, in, in later Pokemon games. So now, I, I gotta go here, and as you can see, you know, the, um, the, the quest markers here. Complete your Pokedex and turn in your report, as it says in the corner there. <clears throat> and I gotta go to... Hi, Bug. May I see your Pokedex? Oh my gosh, you've seen every kind of Pokemon in Sinnoh. Have you shown your Pokedex to Professor Rowan yet? Nope, not yet. I I'm gonna do that now. Just had to showcase that on screen. Yep, I guess, you know, you could just talk to Don, but for an indication of that too, if it's done. And now I can do this. Ah, oh, Bug. You've come to show me your progress on the Pokedex. Yes. Hmm. So you've seen 150 Pokemon. Bravo, Bug! You've recorded all the Pokemon of Sinnoh in your Pokedex. This will help immeasurably with my studies on Pokemon evolution. And hey. Oh hey, look at this. Greetings, Professor Rowan. It's been a very long time. I'll tell you, Sinnoh certainly is a long trip from Kanto. Hmm. 
Of course, if it means meeting new Pokemon, there's no distance too great for the likes of us to travel. Oh? If it isn't my old colleague, Professor Oak. Wow. Oak himself, eh? <laughs> I should have expected as much from the world's authority on Pokemon. We always used to joke, where there are Pokemon, you'll find Oak. <laughs> it's good to see that hasn't changed one bit. Professor Oak, let me introduce you to my young assistant. This youngster has filled every page of the Sinnoh Pokedex for me. Ah, well, very glad to meet you. As you've heard, my name is Oak. I've been hearing a great deal about you from Professor Rowan lately. He's been exuberant in praise about a fantastic young trainer. I see that you live up to, no, that you've surpassed his praise. You've also got an impeccable sense of timing. You see, I had an errand to run for Professor Rowan on my visit here. He'd asked me to bring the data for the National Pokedex. So, since you're here, let me upgrade your Pokedex with the National Mode. Aha! After all, there are many kinds of Pokemon in this world of ours. Yeah, I got the National Pokedex, and I can register Pokemon from, well, all over the world. Every single Pokemon up to this point, basically. I'm afraid it won't be easy to complete the National Pokedex. However, I'm sure you will make an honest attempt on our behalf. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that, yeah. I mean, I don't think... <laughs> Have no fear. Bug will get the job done. By the way, Professor Oak, what compelled you to visit this region? Ah, uh, yes. I've heard that Ramones Park is now open. If I remember correctly, it's at the end of Route 221. Ramones Park has a special system that attracts every imaginable kind of Pokemon from every region. Oh, hey, so I guess that's how it could be done, huh? Hmm. I've come to make certain that system is operating properly. Bug, you should make an effort to visit Ramones Park, too. Okay, I will. Oops, I'll be late for my meeting if I don't get going. Okay, it was a pleasure seeing the both of you. Bye now! Huh, I didn't expect that. I honestly didn't. I don't remember if that was in the original game, or maybe it was in Platinum, or... <laughs> Off he goes, as busy as ever. Yep. <clears throat> now, Bug, I have a gift here. I have a gift here as your reward for completing the Sinnoh Pokedex. Pokey Radar, huh? Hey, wait a minute, isn't that... That's the Pokemon Radar, or just Pokey Radar for short. Use it, and it will indicate grass patches where Pokemon are lurking. I'd prepare that to help my field assistants put together the Sinnoh Pokedex. But you took care of that. I'm sure it will be useful for your goal of filling the National Pokedex. Yep. The world is immense. There are many more Pokemon. That means there are many more thrills for you to seek and enjoy. Oh yeah, so anyway, let's take a look at the Pokedex. Uh, switch Pokedexes with R. Okay, yeah, that's the regional Pokedex. So this is the National Dex, so yeah. So many Pokemon I haven't seen yet. I guess, you know, of course, you know, some Pokemon registered in the Kanto. The first generation Kanto region. Others, too, yeah. <clears throat> Up to that point. Yeah. Well. Yeah, that's... Excuse me, that's technically two Pokedexes to fill out now. Say what? Oh, hey, it's Rourke? Hi there, it's been a while. When I heard that you defeated the Elite Four and entered the Hall of Fame, I rushed straight here to congratulate you. I mean it, great job. All the other gym leaders are really happy for you too. But you know, we gym leaders aren't going to take this lying down. Losing to you is rough on all of us, yet we still have our pride as Sinnoh's eight gym leaders. Now we're all determined to beat you this time. So if you don't mind, could you give us all another chance with a Pokemon battle? We'll each be waiting for you at our own gyms. You know where to find me. Ouroburg Gym. Uh-huh. Oh, and, I, and then it goes back to the underground. <laughs> hey, Bug, have you ever chatted with my kid's sister? Uh, no. M maybe I should do that then, you know? Wait, which house is Don's house? 
Dawn's house. Okay, so yeah, I, I guess I should go in here before I head on and continue. So you? Oh, hi, Bug! There was news on TV saying there is a massive outbreak of Pokemon. That'd be great for filling up your Pokedex. Oh, anything here? This is Helena bringing you on-the-spot weather. Route 213 is getting doused by rain. It's the sort of weather that's right for enjoying music at home. Maybe have some tea and gaze at the rain-covered plants. Perhaps you can giggle at people running to avoid the downpour. That's all for the weather, brought to you by Helena. Okay. So anyway... <clears throat> Whoa, wait. A lot of Farfetch have been spotted on Route 221. Yeah, hold on. Where is Route 221 again? Is, is that over here, or...? Oh, hey, I guess I don't have that quest marker anymore now. I just, yeah, just kind of on my own. But anyway, I don't think I'm really going to showcase, you know, well, uh, everything I do. I'm not sure if I'll, you know, if I do challenge the gym leaders again, I don't think I'll do that in this Let's Play. I mean, you know, there's only so much I can do. No need to showcase everything. Even though there were some things I didn't showcase, you know, like the Celestian Ruins, as I've uh, done to get caught up. So anyway, two, Route 221 is... Where exactly? It's not here, uh... Where is it? <clears throat> have I been down here? Oh, hey! Have I been down here? <clears throat> you know what? I should go down there. <clears throat> yeah, let's do this next. <clears throat> At least, you know, just explore the area. See what's around. And you know, I'll, I'll have my dowsing machine ready for this. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, yeah, let's ride a Claros. Oh hey, m more trainers then? Perhaps these are trainers that I missed. Yep, they are. I'll take them on now. I can't swim without my floaty, but my Pokemon sure can. I love my inner tube, so I admire jellyfish Pokemon. Ah, like Tentacool and Tentacool. I see. Yep, I see now. And and also, uh, like, uh... Oh, shit, I can't believe I forgot the name of that other Pokemon. Jellicent. And Frillish, to an I guess, too. Yeah, fr Frillish and Jellicent. Anyway, I guess, you know, these are trainers I should have battled earlier, but oh well. <laughs> I I'm taking care of them now, because yeah, these should be, they should be of a m much significantly lower levels than my Pokemon. The side of you made it feel more secure. Yeah, level 29, yeah, that's not much. Yeah, I'll just take them all down, and then, yep, go on. Yeah, I guess maybe I wasn't quite prepared for this Let's Play as a whole as I could have been, because, you know, I mean, I, I mean, I guess, you know, just some things I just forgot, because, you know, I haven't played, you know, <clears throat> these games since, you know, Platinum in 2009. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, about 12, 13 years ago, man. <clears throat> but anyway, I guess, you know, at least I can showcase this now. Oh, Discharge! Ooh! You know, that's a good move. Uh, I guess, you know, the downside is, you know, it can, you know, tar- You know, in double battles, it will also damage your, um, ally, too. But, you know, other, other than that, you know, this is better than Volt Switch. And it can also, like Spark, it can also cause paralysis. And I believe it has a 30% chance of doing that, just like Spark. But either way, I think I'll just swap out Discharge for it. And yeah, my Abomasnow did a level up one more off-screen, you know, just from all that I've been doing. Yeah, I don't want to use Discharge, because it, it'll hurt Krikatoon as well, so, yep. I mean, really, another Shellos and Meryl? Wait, what? Not very effective, it doesn't matter anyway. Because, yeah, that Meryl is part Fairy-type. And Fairy-types resist uh, Dark-type moves. Ah. 
Okay, sure. And yeah, not much XP, but oh well. Oh, um, Mario and what, what's their names? They weren't tough, my Pokemon. I'm drifting away. Yeah, I probably don't know. I guess I could have, you know, done this as soon as I got Surf. Maybe after uh, Canalave City or something. My mommy said that Professor Rowan is really kind-hearted. Yeah, he sure is. I wish Rowan would give me a Pokedex, but that old guy looks kind of scary. Oh, he's not. I mean, I can, yeah, I, I can understand why he might look scary, especially the kids. But he's certainly not. He's anything but. Oh. Swimmers. Swimming is a full body exercise. You should swim too. Thanks, but I think I'd rather just surf. <clears throat> Jessica. And I forgot to switch out my Pokemon, didn't I? Oh wait, no, I didn't. That's right, I did that just before that other double battle I had. Yep, spark it, just because, I mean, yeah, that's overkill, but whatever, it doesn't matter. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't really, you know, affect anything, it doesn't, you know, hurt Pokemon more, but basically, you know, so, you know. <laughs> I guess I might as well just use Discharge, just to showcase it, too, but for the first time. Kinda wish I had that, you know, for the Elite Four challenge, but no matter. Yep, all Goldeen, I guess, huh? <clears throat> you train nothing but Goldeen, I see. Discharge, just because. I guess I'll use Spark again. Of course you could do it. I mean, it's not like it's hard to do. Your, your level is over twice what that Pokemon is, plus you've got the type advantage, using a super effective hit. Okay, yeah, just four Goldeen. <laughs> Okay, that's it for that. Uh, Whiskash, you're doing, you're getting up there slowly, yeah. Sunk like a stone. Yep, sorry, but you know. Well, Pokemon's one thing, but you should take up swimming too. Eh, maybe I'll consider it. Maybe not. Eh, uh, yeah, Whiskash, you want to go ahead and, you know, just battle. Hi there. The human body floats more easily in the sea, so it's easy to swim. Hmm, yeah. Oh, you have two Pokemon. Erica. E Erica spelled with a C, not a K. Not like that gym leader in Kanto. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that's close enough. <laughs> Curious about your fashion? What? I'm sure that, you know, a surf could take it down, too. Psyduck. Hey, at least you have two po different Pokemon. Of course, they're both water types. We know that's to be expected. From a swimmer. Honestly, maybe I should have tested Ice Beam. What? Well, you know, no matter, I guess. I'm sure that would have knocked it out too, but you know. Eh. I just kind of wanted to make sure, even though I'm 99% sure it would have anyway. I think it would have. The water's too salty! Oh, yep. I've got that sinking feeling. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sinking feeling. A splash plate, huh? Oh, another Arceus plate. There's text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. The rightful bearer of a plate draws from the plate it holds. Yep. Interesting. Yeah, there's another item here. Is there anything right by us? Guess not. Oh! <clears throat> 
Unless it's a Pokemon I haven't caught before, I think I'll just run away. Oh yeah. Tentacool was another Pokemon that I missed before. R remember on the, let's see, what was that route called? That runs between Ouroboric City and Kenilave City? Yeah, I, well, I, I caught a Tentacruel there on screen and then I just realized, hey, I still need a Tentacruel now, so I just caught one there. Anyway. Yeah, perhaps I should just uh, use Repels again. Oh, and hey, I, I actually also found an Ordinary Repel. Not that it really matters or anything. Oh yeah, the Pokey Radar. Oh yeah, it gets recharged as I walk. Oh yeah, here it is, the Repel. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just use one of those, and I guess I'll just go over here first. See what's around here. Is there anything here? I mean, is there is this just an alternate route? Oh, hey, there's a trainer here anyway. <laughs> I may not look it now, but I'm a star. I'm always with my Pokemon. Are you a star? Nah. You're just an aspiring star. You, you want to be a star. Caitlyn. Oh yeah. Let's use Ice Beam and see how much that does. Probably would knock it out, I'm sure. Yep, I thought so. Oh, a oh, come on, it was a critical hit? Well, that doesn't prove anything then. Crap. But for all I know, it would have been very close. I mean, it, I still think it would have knocked it out, but, you know, I can't be sure completely. What? Oh, hey, look at that. A non-water type used by a swimmer. I guess, you know, it's a graceful, um, well, I don't know, what Pokemon, a m m meditator, I guess, is that the word? <laughs> anyway. And, well, I guess, I don't know, I guess, well, it can learn Ice Punch, but that's not a Water-type move, so, you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe I should use Cricketune now. Or a Bomb of Snow. But perhaps I should save a bomb of snow for, you know, when I get back on the pr proper route, but back where I was. x -Scissor. Not that it would matter. Maybe I should just use Spell Stinger, but oh well. Oh hey, 376 XP or something like that. I lost, but at least I had fun. Yep, that's what's important, isn't it? If I, if it were an underwater Pokemon show, I would have shined. Yeah, I, I have no doubt of that. I, I'm not gonna try to, you know, deny that in for sure. Yep. Route 221, huh? Okay, in that case, yeah. Whoops. Let's use the max repels I have. And yeah, I still have 11 left. I used one before off screen. Uh, I, I guess I should have. Yeah, here it is. I guess I should have gone down the other way. But anyway, 10 max repels. I guess. Okay, so it's route 220 and 221, huh? What where I am? Alright. And yeah, well, I guess I could, you know, surf along here too. Oh, never mind. There's nothing there. Oh, hey there, swimmer. I only live to swim. Teach me what's so fun about Pokemon. What? But you're a trainer, aren't you? I mean, you should already know, Adrian. Mantyke, yeah, that's a Pokemon I've been caught myself. Yeah. You know, I'll bet this would still knock it out. Let's find out. Yeah, it's got high special defense, you know, this is not very effective. Oh, hey, look at that. It still did it, as I thought it would. Oh, again, a critical hit. Wait, aren't you still holding an item that... Increases the chances of critical hits? Hmm. Or, or, wait, did I give that to you or someone else? And Night Slash. Oh, 
Oh, wow. I think you do, don't you? I mean, yeah, it would explain why... I guess, you know, Night Slash also does have a higher critical hit ratio, too. But even then, it's only 25%. Okay, Fell Stinger. Not very effective, but hey, I mean, yeah, you'll get all that increase in attack, but it won't really matter anyway. Uh, wow, that was fun! <laughs> wow, yep, even though, yeah. I'll try swimming with Pokemon next. Yeah, good idea. Do what I do. Surf on your Pokemon. Oh, hey, look at that. There's an item right... Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, never mind. It is... A bottle of Carbos. Yeah, this must be one of those, yeah, those long, uh... Water routes that you could, you know... <laughs> is there anything down here? Route 221. Okay. There's a trainer. Water-type Pokémon come in a great variety of shapes and sizes. I'll show you the water Pokémon that I've picked for myself. Yeah, I believe what you're saying is true. And yet, you only have one Pokémon. Just one. Huh, okay. And maybe it would have been better if, you know, I battled, you know, that other... If that statement had been made by one of the other trainers there. One of the other swimmers. Did it, did it say Golduck seems to be curious about your fashion, or that, uh, Cricketune was? Okay, yeah. You have that Razor Claw, don't you? Honestly, maybe I should just unequip that now. Or maybe, I guess it won't matter. No. Oh, hey, everything by two except for Special Defense, which only went up by one. Swimmer Vanessa. I can't boast when I lose. I'm so disappointed. Okay, yep. Sure, I lost, but watch me. I'll get tougher with water Pokemon. Yep, that's true. I'll, I think so. I can believe that. You know, I believe uh, water type Pokemon still technically are... have the most types. You know, the, the, the most the number of different species. Last time I checked. I don't know, maybe that's changed in newer regions, you know, with more Pokemon, newer g generations. But, but I believe, you know, at least at one point that was true. Let's use Star Raptor. Okay, yep, you I've battled you. Okay, get your breathing in order. Okay, you're ready to go. Okay. <laughs> no pun intended, but yeah, okay, sure. Vincent. Pelipper. Drizzle, oh man. Okay, yeah, let's just get this done. Let's get this going. Aerial Ace, I might as well just, you know, just spam that attack. Whiskash, I got one of those myself. Bam! Aerial Ace. Alright, so... I let my momentum falter. Yep. Oh well. So good. Uh, no, I mean, I'm just too strong, really. Listen, I have something important to say to you. Don't drown in your own talent. Hmm. I guess that is, uh, sound advice. Yeah. Wait, I, I battled that swimmer over there already, didn't I? I hope I did. I, I mean, I must have, right? Okay, yeah, of course I did. Yeah, anyway, let's just go to the end here. Yeah, this could turn out to be a fairly long episode. <laughs> Longer than I would have thought it would be. Oh, hey. If these two, yeah, if that girl would just, you know, turn this way, I could battle both of them. Ah, screw it. Let's just go. I'm not going to wait for them. I bought a new bikini. It's this year's newest model. 
Even though it looks just like all the others I've seen. But then, uh, I know, that's just, that's just because, you know, they're all just copy-pasted designs, so, you know. <clears throat> I, mean, I think I would have preferred to battle them both so I can get through, you know, I can defeat them both faster. Aerial Ace! Alright. See ya. Yep, oh, that, that's it for that, then, yep. Okay, yeah. Uh, you don't, yeah, you do sound annoyed. I made a mistake buying this bikini. It's a little too tight. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, But I don't, but that's not why you lost. On your marks, get set! Yeah, and we go. Let's battle now. Eric. Gyarados! Ooh, so if I had battled them both together, because uh, you can, uh, there are certain instances where you can battle, you know, you can have double battles, you know, against two trainers to tag team against them. On either side, you know, if they're both, if they're both facing you. Let's see if an aerial ace can still knock it out. Or you can do them individually. I, you know, I guess, you know, that's been a thing since, uh, Emerald. You're just using that. Okay, I guess I shouldn't have used Aerial Ace, but oh well. <clears throat> Let's just do this, just because. Yep, it's down too, of course. I mean, if so, if it weren't for Intimidate, yeah, that Aerial Ace would have knocked it out. Ow, 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 ow! Get my leg cramped up! <laughs> yes. I forgot to do my stretching exercises. Oh, well, that's not good. In that case, yeah, no wonder, yeah. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, so I'm down here now. Well, does it look like I'm swimming gracefully? Uh, sure, I mean, I just met you, so I haven't exactly taken a good look at you, but you know, okay. Dylan! Shellos! Yeah, you can do it, Star Raptor. Yeah, just spam Aerial Ace. Yeah. I mean, I really would rather not split this into two episodes. I think, you know, since, you know, this is just something I should have done already, I'll just do it now. Oh, a Gastrodon now, huh? Okay, cool. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm finally feeling fatigued. Yep. I may look like I'm swimming gracefully, but beneath the surface, I'm kicking furiously. I see. <laughs> okay. So you admit that, you know, it's... Yeah, okay. Well, in that case, yeah, I guess you're not. That's my rating. And it looks like, well, oh, you know, I've already battled her. She was, oh, hey, look at this. Hey, I like fishing, but my true love is battling. Oh, is that right? Not many fishers are like you. They, I mean, they must still love battling, but they prefer fishing. Fisher Cory. And yet more water type Pokemon. Uh, Magikarp. Yeah, what's up with the fisherman? I guess, you know, it makes sense. Because, you know, I mean, when you're f fishing for Pokemon... Chinsu, you'll find a lot of Magikarp, especially if you just got an old rod. Okay, yeah, I see. I understand. With the tense and determined eyes. Did, did it say the... I mean, I, I think I'm gonna need to review that later and see what it said. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, I do, I mean, hold on, it's probably not at level 31, so yeah, maybe... Oh, wait, no, it's level 32, huh? Okay, in that case, yeah. A aerial Ace will knock it out, so we'll use Brave Bird. Bam! That'll knock it out for sure, of course. Yep. And, yeah, that should get you up, uh, well, not quite, we know, 
certainly closer. More than before. Finneon! Okay. And Aerial Ace. Just keep that up. Yay. Defeated Cory. Okay. Sploosh. If you don't know how to fish, you're missing half of life's enjoyment. If you don't know Pokemon, you're missing out on all of it. Huh. I see. Well, look at that. Oh, hey. Far-fetched. Interesting. I see what it meant by, yeah, uh, yeah, lots of far-fetched around here, huh? Yes, I see now. A jar of pure incense. I guess, you know, it's, at least I could showcase this. So, hey. Keep this up. I guess, you know, the Farfetch will just keep disappearing as long as I've got a Repel, right? Yeah, so I can't actually catch any- oh, I mean, unless maybe I was quick or something. Hondu Berries. Mago Berries. Petcha Berries. Lepa berries. Okay, and it looks like we got a trainer here. Oh, you intend to beat me? I am an ace, you know. Well, I'm the champion, you know, so, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I should have done this earlier, so, you know, I shouldn't have been, been the champion already. But oh well. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, let's just finish this quickly already. Alright. Okay, yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay, just two more. Oh, hey, perhaps this will get Star Raptor up a level. I mean, you know, the, after this battle, not after this next Pokemon, of course. But maybe after this battle, yeah. Maybe. Oh, hey, a Lopany? Yeah, that should be worth more XP than the Meryl. Cherim. Oh, yeah, did I ever... Oh, yeah, I, oh, yeah, I guess I have seen that. I mean, obviously I must have, you know, to have the National Dex and everything. Okay, yeah, nice. I see. I have to concede defeat. To not be depressed by loss, that's one trait of an ace. Yep. Or by a champion. Knowing they you know someone else could come over and take over, you know? Because yeah, now my, uh, my, my title will be targeted by others. Hmm? Okay, yep. You're going to Ram Raman Ramanus Park? It's not right that you get to go before a collector like me. Maybe I'll just stop just before I go there or something. Ivan. <clears throat> Hippopotas. Oh, hey, so Romanus Park happens to be down here, does it? Well, that's good. That That's good timing then, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, come on. Yep. Uh, that's going to take up... Acrobatics. We're gonna spam that, really. We're already much higher level than these po than these trainers. Hmm. So wait. I mean, does this guy say something else or something? Or what? Can, can I just not visit R Ruminous Park before now? Another hippopotamus. Okay. And Acrobat. Okay, so all yet are. Oh, yeah, that's right. All the collectors, they just use all of the same Pokemon. They have just three of the same. Wow. 
Every single collector happened to find us, so I'll just happen to have three of the same Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> You're one enthusiastic trainer. And, uh, yeah, he said some decent money there. Ramanus Park, huh? I wonder what kinds of Pokemon you can see there. <clears throat> oh, hey, is this it? A place for new beginnings. You know what? Maybe I'd have just... <clears throat> Stop right here, then. Actually, well, hold on. Let's see what's... Yeah, how, how do I get to that house there? Do I just... Yeah, keep up the repels. Oh, okay, I see. So, who lives here, I wonder? Hmm? Maybe a retired old man? I saw it. Today's number is 20. Show me a Pokemon that's level 20 if you can. I'll reward you. Oh, really? So that... Oh, that's interesting. I'm not... Yeah, I don't remember this, honestly. This isn't new, is it? See, I guess, you know, it'll be difficult to catch the Surfetch as long as I got a Repel, huh? Okay, okay. So anyway, let's just defeat this trainer. <clears throat> Another Ace Trainer. People consider me an Ace Trainer. Let me demonstrate the skills that earned me that title. Okay, yep. Ace Trainer Jake. Oh, Star Raptor, uh, you know, intimidate. Not that it matters. <sighs> Giraffe rig, okay, yep. Acrobatics. Anyway, yep, that'll do. So that's all the trainers. I wonder, yeah, there may not be any more new trainers to battle. Well, I mean, except on the new islands. But, but on Sinnoh, it doesn't look like it. I'm burning with jealousy over your raw talent. Yep. I think keeping up the effort to better yourself is a talent in itself. Yeah, you got that right. So anyway... Oh, hey, I can teach X Scissor now. I don't think I really will need to, but you know, I can. So hey, that's something, right? Oh, hey, I could have gone through here too, huh? Okay, sure. So anyway, I guess that'll do it. I don't know, maybe I should have, you know, just stopped, you know, after that water, those water routes to get here, but you know, eh, whatever. So anyway, I think, you know, next time I will just um, take a look at Ramanus Park and then continue on around that other island until I've explored all of that. So until then, see you next time!